CISI comparison. Uh, this is a somewhat common question type in the interest chapter. And we'll look at a couple of very basic straightforward examples and then we'll look at a couple of better application questions. Let's just look at an example. Question. What is the difference between CI and SI for two years on 20,000 rupees at 8% per annum? So you have two different situations. One of them is uh, 20,000 rupees, 8% per annum, two years. And the other is 20,000 rupees, 8% per annum, compounded annually for two years. So this is CI and this is SI. They're asking you uh, if you find the total CI and the total SI and take the difference between these two quantities, how much would that be? Now, first thing to notice the amount minus so the, the SI is basically you have a direct formula, CI you don't have a direct formula, but what you can do is you can find the amount under CI and you can subtract the principal and you'll get the CI. You can also have amount under SI and you subtract the principal, you will get the total SI. And they want the difference of these two things. When you subtract this, you will realize that these two things will cancel each other. That's a minus P, this is going to become a plus P and it's going to cancel. And so basically what you want is AC minus AS. I know it says AS minus AC, but the amount under common interest is going to be bigger. So AC minus AS is what you're trying to find. And so you can, instead of finding the difference between the CI and the SI, you can find the difference between the amounts under CI and SI. And that is going to be easier. So how are you going to do this? Uh, amount under CI is 20,000 into 1.08 the whole squared. While the other is going to be 20,000 into 1.16, 8 percent for two years. Is just 16 percent under SI and this is basically 20,000 1.08 whole square is 1.1664 and if you subtract 1.1664 and you subtract the 1.16 I'm taking the 20,000 is common you're gonna end up with 20,000 into 0 0.0064 you move the decimal pay, uh, point 0.4 units here, 4 units here, it's basically just 2 into 64 and your answer is rupees 128. Let's look at one more example. For what principle is the difference between SI and CI for 3 years at 20% per annum equal to 512? So you have two different schemes, one is 20% per annum simple, the other is 20% per annum compounded annually time period is three years for both uh, the principle is same for both one generates obviously the CI uh, generated would be 512 rupees more than the SI generated so that's basically AC minus AS is equal to 512 and so that's basically principle into 1.2 the whole cube minus that's 20 percent uh, plus 20 percent plus 20 percent stacked that is 1.2 the whole cube. The other side is 20% for 3 years is just 60% under simple interest. So that's P into 1.6 is equal to 512. And this 1.2 cube is 1.728. So that is P into 0 0.128 is equal to 512. P is equal to 512 by 0 0.128. 512 by 128 is 4, so the answer is 4000 rupees.